It's been a while since CS2 came out and there have been a lot of updates that have brought the game close to what Global Offensive ever was. But it's not perfect and you're still going to run into some problems. My name is Yadullah, you're watching Canada Technology and in this video we're talking about how you can fix packet loss issues in Counter-Strike 2. So the first thing that we're going to do is add some launch options. So fire up Steam. Once you've got Steam opened up, head over to your library, find a Counter-Strike in here. And now what we're going to do is right click Counter-Strike and go to properties. In here, uh, you go to the general tab, which is the first one. And under launch options, we are going to copy paste this command which you'll find in the video description below uh, so this command actually you can also enter all of this within the game uh, developer window or the game console but putting them here is just easy and it makes sure that every time you launch the game these things are loaded and set up and running uh, and that's it once you've entered all of these commands you can go ahead and close this window and try to relaunch counter-strike it should hopefully fix your problem do keep in mind that uh, in-game commands and any other fixes that we'll be doing in this video can only help so much but unless you have a very solid a very stable internet connection you're not going to be able to get the best performance out of your internet connection or your system or just counter-strike in general use an ethernet connection if you can i always say this in every video of mine if you're playing any sort of online game on a console or a pc try and use a wired connection as much as possible wi-fi is very convenient but when it comes to gaming it's not even close to the performance and stability that ethernet offers So once you're done with that, the next thing to do is to add an exception in Windows Security. Now to do this, you first need to find out where your game is installed. Uh, doing this is extremely easy. Uh, right click Counter-Strike 2, click on Manage and then click on Browse Local Files. This will open up the game. Uh, wherever the game is saved, in my case, it is in this path might be some other path for you so we're just going to copy this and i can close this window close steam also now let's search for windows security click on virus and threat protection click on manage settings under virus and threat protection settings and now go all the way down to exclusions click on add or remove exclusions it will ask you for some permissions and you can see that there are some uh, folders that have been excluded. So click on add an exclusion. We're going to click on folder. Just copy paste the link there. It will automatically get there. Click on select folder. And that folder will now be added. Uh, you can also remove it later if you want. But uh, this is how you add an exclusion. Now this may or may not help you sometimes windows security runs active processes or active checks on something that is running already on your system which can slow down uh, your game and cause performance and network issues so it's just best to include it in the exclusions next up we're going to flush our dns settings now dns settings are an important part of how your computer connects to the internet and can play an important role in any lag or anything of the sort so to flush them just right click your start menu and you can open either powershell or uh, windows command prompt doesn't really matter once powershell is open we are going to run two commands the first one is ipconfig forward slash flush dns so this flushes all of your dns cache and so if, if you if you've got something that's corrupt there or if you've got something that's causing slowdowns that will be gotten rid of once you've ran this command the next one is win soft reset and this soft resets your network so everything gets connected again it's like rebooting your router which you should also try by the way Uh, once you've tried these commands and you've not gotten a good enough result, you can also try a full network reset. Now to do this, press Windows key plus I to open Windows settings and in here I'm just going to search for 
network reset click on the setting that pops up and that's it just go ahead and click on this reset now button uh, this will remove and then reinstall all of your network adapters uh, set other networking components back to their original settings and everything so uh, this means if you've got any vpn client running any virtual switches any uh, wi-fi passwords you all you're going to have to enter them all again so this it's going to take some work to get your wi-fi back up and running a few minutes so go ahead and reset your network uh, you can also try this if you're facing connectivity problems in general as well it's not really that big of an issue finally if nothing else works we're going to try changing our dns server so to do this uh, we're going to head over to windows settings once again head over to network and internet and in this go to advanced network settings right here and now uh, check your network adapter if you're using wi-fi this will be wi-fi i'm using ethernet so i'm going to expand this and in here i'm going to click on view additional properties this will open up two windows ip assignment and dns server assignment ip assignment we're not going to change because that is handled by our router but we can change the dns server so in here go ahead and click on edit from automatic change this to manual enable ipv4 and enter your preferred dns here now i am going to enter google's dns address so it's going to 8888 and then 8.8.4.4 .8 and just go ahead and click save what this does is that it routes your traffic through google's dns instead of whatever dns your isp was using this can in some cases provide you a speed boost and make your connection more stable but packet loss generally involves uh, the connection between your system and the router and not exactly the bandwidth of the router itself but this can help if you haven't been able to fix it using any other issues once again best fix for packet loss make sure you're running an ethernet connection and that there is no one else downloading massive amounts when you're playing games that's it if you like this video consider subscribing give us a thumbs up press the bell icon and tell us in the comments below what more such videos can we make for you if you'd like to know more about tech visit our website candid.technology follow us on social media follow me on instagram or twitter and we'll see you in the next video